Hey everybody, it's Mike, the AC Reefer guy. Uh, today we're on a York package unit that has an ECM EVAP fan motor. Uh, we're going to change it out to a standard motor. The customer doesn't want to pay for the ECM. Uh, he wants to pay for a cheaper retrofit, doesn't really care about the efficiency, just wants to get in some cooling. I have Nick on the roof and AZ Cool Guy 1. So we got a lot of guys on the roof and Nick's going to go ahead and, and talk a little bit about the relay that he pre-installed and uh, he's going to show why he installed a relay. And where's that neat relay there, Nick? Well, here's the relay we installed. It's just a two-pole, single-throw relay that uh, we installed because the board is a, the motor we pulled out is a board-driven motor. And so we installed the, the relay so that we could break the, the call for the motor. And that motor, 24 volts, comes off the board right here, correct? So on a call for fan or cooling or heat, it energizes the relay and sends a uh, signal over or power over to the motor. Correct. Okay. So the relay's installed. Um, we have already gone ahead and sanded up the shaft. We've pulled the ECM. Here's the ECM right here. It's pulled out. And in this case, we're using a condenser fan motor instead of an EVAT fan motor. The condenser fan motor, we've done this repair before, tends to work a little bit better. We needed a 1075 or a 1050? 1075. We needed a 1075 RPM and uh, with a one horse, 230 volt single phase motor. The motor's in place. You can see it kind of looks like a condenser fan motor. The harness is set in place. Everything is ready to go. We're gonna cruise around this side. Uh, shaft is through, the set screw is in place. Everything has been free spun. We're making sure that we got our clearances. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the condenser fan motor, or actually the indoor fan motor. It's already been tightened, correct? Correct. And then the other thing too is we've already gone ahead and pulled the motor information. Uh, when we get the motor in place, we like to amp check it. We amp check everything that goes in that's an electric motor, a condenser fan motor, a compressor, anything that uses amps. We like to make sure that we amp check it. Uh, nothing worse than putting the motor in, you don't amp check it, and then it burns up. You can see the ECM, the, the motor is sitting here. We're going to go ahead and recycle that. Um, 